Sugar Sean O'Malley just made a genius call out while disrespecting the entire Bantamweight division in the process. Before we break down this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. And the notification bell. Don't be a baby back, bagel biting beta mill because you know what time it is. It's full time MMA. That is right, Sugar Sean O'Malley, UFC Bantamweight Rising Star. He's already a superstar. He's coming off of a knockout over Thomas Almeida. Check this shit out, guys. We're going to watch this video and react to it together. What's up, Dom? Heard you're looking for a big fight. Hold on. Did he just say, <laughs> yo? What's up, Dom? He put the doobie out on top of the dirty Nissan Ultima. Look at this thing. What is this guy wearing? <laughs> what the? This mother trucker is hilarious he pulls up in the he looks like he done took this thing off road in this nissan altima puts the doobie out on top of it hops out in the dodgeball Lizzie uniform Wright, jet flyer, <laughs> son of a gun, and i'm having a hard time holding these alligators up. wow <laughs> you guys just heard somebody subscribe to the channel but look at this make sure you guys subscribe we already talked about that but Sugar Sean O'Malley hops out the Nissan Altima, says, What's up, Dom? I heard you were looking for a huge fight. Let's continue to watch this video. This, <laughs> oh my God, look at, look at this guy. <laughs> what the hell? All right. Who's a bigger fight than me right now? Corey's about to beat the EPO out of TJ. Rob's about to knock out Cody for the seventh time this year. Peter's uh, disqualified for cheating. Hold on. He just disrespected the division while giving predictions. He said Corey's about to beat the EPO out of TJ. Rob's about to knock Cody out for the seventh time this year. So he just, <laughs> in the process of calling out Dom, disrespected TJ disrespected uh, Cody Garbrandt, made his predictions, then he went on. All this is within 34 seconds. Then he went on to say, Peter's still disqualified. <laughs> Aljamain still concussed. This fucking guy is on the money. Let's finish the video out. Let's finish the video out. He's almost over. Oh my God. He's, this is genius. Aljo still knocked out from the knee. Who's a bigger fight? <laughs> what? Did you see the shot? Did you see the shot? <laughs> one take. He one take this one. <laughs> <laughs> he just fucking airballed that shit. Who's the bigger fight? Fucking hilarious. This is genius on many levels. This is Chell Sonnen genius levels. This is up there with one of the some one of the greatest callouts of all time because he did it quick to the point and he made predictions while disrespecting the division while disqualifying other contenders from the fight that he wants. On top of that, it's a perfect call-out because Dominic Cruz is a former Bantamweight champion that is also one of, known as one of the former pound-for-pound -pound greatest fighters of all time. On top of that, he's it's a win-win because if you lose, you lost to one of the former greatest, greatest of all time, former Bantamweight kingpin Dominic Cruz. You're supposed to lose. If you win, you just beat one of the former greatest Bantamweights of all time and propelled yourself into title contention automatically and one of the best Bantamweights in the world status. This is the perfect call-out, the perfect fight for Sean O'Malley, 
and he did it very entertainingly. Pulled up in the dusty Nissan Altima, put the doobie out on top of the car, dressed crazily, disrespecting other fighters, while making pred predictions. You can't make this shit up. He doesn't even have a manager. Other UFC fighters need to take notes. Champions could take notes from Sean O'Malley. This is how it's done, guys. And with that being said, it is what it is. Let the full-time family know what you think in the comments. I'm out.